13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News Update. We have some developing news. The South African variant of the novel coronavirus has now made its way here to Nevada. As according to the State Public Health Lab, the new strain was detected in a sample from Reno, Nevada, and traced back to a traveler from South Africa who became symptomatic after arriving here in Nevada. Drug maker Pfizer says the South African strain could reduce vaccine protection. The CDC says 10 states now have seen cases of the South African variant. Las Vegas Metro Police want drivers to be more vigilant following an increase in carjackings here in the Valley. Police say there have been 17 of them so far this year. That's a 30% increase compared to last year. Officers say what is most concerning is about half involve teenagers as young as 14 years old. Metro is asking people to make sure that their car doors are locked and do not leave those valuables in your car. The Las Vegas Aviators are on deck. Minor League Baseball announced schedules today for the 2021 season. After an entire year without games, the Aviators will take on the Round Rock Express for the season's opening series. And that starts on April 8th in Texas. The Reno Aces are on the 15th and the Tacoma Rainers on the 22nd. Both of those latter series will be at the Las Vegas ballpark. It'll be so nice to have games at the ballpark once again. Thursday evening looking much better now that the wind has finally calmed. Temperatures are chilly today. We're landing quite a few degrees below the seasonal average with highs capped in the mid 50s. Lots of sunshine, clear sky heading into tonight and it will be on the chilly side. Temperatures dropping to the 40s as we approach 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. But at least we're not dealing with the wind. Friday stays calm. Temperatures in the low 60s. Wind picks back up this weekend. All right, Danny, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.